and you want to push your knight here into the fight because that's where the hole is. These two pawns are gone. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mr. Chess from Chess Lovers Only, where I talk about chess and also create chess opening videos so that you can improve your chess game. So I'm going to play one last 10 plus 0 live chess game and talk about my thoughts. Sometimes I lose, sometimes I win, but it's all okay because if you lose, you learn a lot more from your games, isn't it? And I hope that you can learn as well from my games. So normally, normally if it's E4, E5, I play the Italian. This one, you can play this before okay this is i've had lots of games and that's a mistake oh, is it a mistake that's no, not a mistake that was a mistake okay cool so i saw this kind of thing in um what's his name now this skis videos and now because he they have played this move there's a very big hole on d5 and you need to get your knight there so i don't want to do this right you have to move the queen here It's similar to the now Dixie game, but in that one you actually still have you still have the knight, one of the knights, and you want to push your knight here into the fight because that's where the hole is. These two pawns are gone. This pawn four and this pawn's gone. So the best easiest way is just this. If they play the pawn up, then you can get rid of the light square bishop. And you have to get rid of this knight. That's another mistake. Um, sure. If I take, what happens? Nothing. Yeah. The last two games were pretty hard, and this one was pretty easy. So, any resigns? Okay, very good. So let's just have a look, and let's look at some kind of positional ideas in this opening. So if they play that, the computer says to play d4. And this is one of the moves that I've learned a long time ago. So normally, yeah, so normally they play x x and then knight out, and then you play this knight out. This is the one that I've learned. Yeah, normally I don't get this bishop move. Normally they play like bishop here or something. Or bishop here. Bishop here, you move your knight back. Is that right? No, you take. And then if you do this, then they can't castle, so they go this way. And now you've wrecked their pawn, their pawn structure. Like I've said previously, I'm learning a lot more about pawn structures. Yeah, and normally they, normally they do this, I do this, and then they put the bishop either here or here is what I've seen in my case. So instead, he took. Yeah, I thought this was a, another good move because I haven't really seen this move often and they just want to attack yeah i don't like this queen up because they can just do this and then you just like do stuff so that's why i didn't move the queen there i swear there was something like here or here i didn't want to move my queen to e3 because it blocks in the bishop but if i moved it here was that a good move? No, I lost some of the advantage. That's the key that I'm trying to focus on now. I want to get more accurate moves and to retain my advantage from the opening. The openings, most of the openings I play, I'm pretty good. I do know the opening moves. Why the Italian game, I know most of them, but the, the problem that I'm having now is that in the middle game, I lose lots of my advantage and I just lose or whatever. Not, not really like strong tactics, just like, you know, positional kind of ideas. That's what I'm trying to learn now. That's why I'm pretty low intermediate, intermediate. Low intermediate, I reckon, because I have a lot of other openings I'm trying to expand out on. And yeah, they normally say you should play two openings and learn lots of the openings and then just play tactics, learn lots of tactics if you're a beginner. If you want to improve chess, you need to learn lots of tactics first. And then you need to focus on two openings for white, two openings for black, and then just keep playing. And Analyze your own games, which is what I'm doing now. And actually, because I record my games, I learn a lot more. I learn a lot more kind of things. I learn a lot more than if I'm just playing games by myself. And 10 plus 0 is very good instead of 5 plus 0. 10 plus 0 is when you can actually stop and think. And it's very important that you can play, that you play longer games. 
So even 30 minutes is very good, but I don't really like playing 30 minutes because it's like, it takes a huge amount of time out of your day, isn't it? And I'm just like a casual chess player. I'm not like a super tournament, I want to win everything person. So that's my spiel. Okay, they reckon this is a better way for some reason. Because you can attack the, the bishop and win the pawn. Okay, so that's the reason why the computer says that. But this is a now this he said this was a bad move because it creates a huge hole on d5. So I try to exploit that by okay, that was just a mistake. I don't know why they did that. Wouldn't that even that because you can attack the knight? And that has to go somewhere. If it goes here, what happens if it goes here? Yeah, because you're covering the square. So what do they block if you take it? Okay, cool. So what should they have done? Trade off. This one's cool because then you might be able to win the queen. Yeah, he has to go here. If you take, you take the queen. So he has to move here. What if you just you can just take it? Yeah. I want to see. I can't win the queen, but really, pawn. You can't win the. If they know what they're doing, you can't win the queen, but you kill, you get rid of their casting rights. It's pretty good. So they should have attacked straight away and then try to cast him, essentially. Queen castle. No? Queen and then why can't they do this? Because casting right. Just looking at some computer variations to get some ideas of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, so they can't take because of the losing the casting rights because the bishop's covering the square. So now they castle, then you take the bishop. Castle. Put the queen out. Castle. Double attacking the bishop. Attacking the queen. Moving the queen. Queen out. Our castle and we're up because why are we better? I mean, they have oh, we could have pawn structure essentially because we have three still. We have two pawn islands and we're three pawns each, and then we're controlling the D file. The, the pieces are the same. We are up to pawns, but they're missing the F pawn and the B pawn. But we haven't moved these pawns yet, so they could probably they could probably take one of them, maybe. And we're double attacking, but we're defending. Yeah, so they have they don't have an F pawn or a B pawn, and they have two isolated pawns. But we have four, not three, four and three. So it's all about the pawn structure. And that's one thing you need to know. One thing you need to learn as you progress. Not just tactics anymore, because if good chess players, they're all good at tactics. The next step is positional ideas. Like the the, the bishop pair and weak squares and pawn structure. And pawn structure is one thing I'm trying to focus on as well as weak squares. And in order to have a think about exactly what you're supposed to do, you need time. 
and instead of playing Blitz, you need to play longer time controls. Blitz, I play a lot of Blitz, and it's Blitz is a funny eye. Blitz actually tells you some things about your openings. If you're not in a new opening, you can just go Blitz and then play it out. You can lose a lot. But actually, you learn lots of the, the key ideas, and because you have more exposure, you've got lots of experience in a short amount of time, right? But if you want to know about more positional kind of ideas, it's better if you take long time controls and actually think about the situation. And even when you're analyzing, like what I'm doing now, I don't just go through the whole game and look at the, look at kind of um, like mistakes or whatever. I try and think about the key concepts and think about variations. And if you see, if I see a move, I play it out and I just see what kind of variation it is. So. This is a this is quite an interesting game anyway, and you can kind of build you can kind of build a, a repertoire of like ideas, especially if you look at those um big kind of YouTubers like Nowditzki, I like, and that other guy, Nowditzki. I like his videos. I learn a lot more. I learn a lot more from his videos than other guest streamers because. He actually talks about key ideas and things like that. So I really recommend now uh, these videos if you want to learn more about chess too. Anyway, this is Mr. Chess from Chess Lovers Only. I hope you learned a lot from this game. And even though it's a loss, win, whatever, it doesn't matter. We can all learn from lots of chess games. So see you later and I'll catch you next time. Bye.